All right, are y'all ready for this amazing, long-awaited homeschool room reveal? I know I've been waiting for the homeschool room to be just finished, complete, ready to use for a long time, and it is finally done. And I can't wait to show y'all around. I've been using it for a couple of days, and it's amazing. Y'all come on in. Fall for Jesus. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What happened in here? Excited to be on the IG Farms this morning? Yeah. And not at uh, Porter's Chapel Private School? Yeah. What's up? You, you did already told us we will get sick after we went there and it happened. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody's got a little cold. I'm not, I don't have a cold. Yeah, me either. It started with no, and now Titus has it. That's what happens when you go to, go to, go, go to school away from home school. You open yourself up to the sicknesses. Ain't that right, Ty? Yeah. That's right. We don't have to worry about that anymore, though. All right, so y'all just stay laying down for a second. We're going to get going today. And I didn't want to let y'all get up. All right? All right, It's a yeah. new day. I'm at IG Farms. I count to one. You said second, so I count to one. You crazy. No, you crazy. <laughs> See, y'all got it nice and it looks like a, a bachelor pad in here. It smells like one, too. <laughs> Alright, y'all stay quiet. This room here is it's, it's about to go undergo some major changes. <clears throat> Every time we look look around, we're changing the plan. But I think we're we're pretty locked in now <laughs> on what this room is gonna become. But for now, let's just turn that light off and close the imaginary door. Act like we don't see all that uh junk in there. Got a couple of new uh items in for our fireplace. One of you all sent that. And then sent us this portrait here. And it goes in perfect with the fireplace and everything. Somebody sent some uh big long shovels and pokers and things. We actually were able to start the uh wood stove yesterday. Uh it got a little bit cold overnight and we started it <clears throat> Sunday morning. So everything's looking good. How you doing over there, Mama? I'm doing great. So what I'm going to do for breakfast is, <clears throat> you know how you have just a couple pieces of bread left in the bottom of the pack? And it's like five of us. So I'm just going to make French toast with all these, you know. <laughs> butt pieces of bread. <laughs> butt pieces of mm -hmm. bread. But it should be really good. And um, then I got some bacon over there. So it'll be French toast, farm fresh eggs, and bacon for breakfast.
picking y'all up to show y'all the finished product. There's a French toast, a little bacon. Tim Jr. is always almost uh, well already finished, and eggs. Yeah, so um, our neighbor's horses got on our property, and that was fun. It was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, I, let me tell you. Uh, we were just taking our walk, and then we saw the horses on the pine down. We told the dogs to get them, and then we, and then we talked, and then we uh, came back around to there and said, "The horses are on the pine down." And then we came down, and we, uh, and we tried to get. They told the dogs to get, get the horse, and then they ran right into the fence. Yeah, they and did. They knocked, they knocked all the fence uh, things. Yep, I can post this up for two. Yep, and so that's what Dad is doing now. He's out there fixing the fence. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? Ties, you want to say something, yes. buddy? What's up? But, but Solo had his uh, mouth on it, and all of the Solo's legs, all his four legs were off the ground. He Crazy. Was yeah. towards the fence. We, and, we, yeah. Uh, Crazy. We had to get Solomon tell him to come back, right? And Dad even had me hold him. All right, y'all. So as you can see, it's already popping off on the farm, and we'll just pick y'all back up when there's something <laughs> new going on to update you on. Yeah, come on, boys. We're ready. All right, boys, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take all the homeschool materials that don't fit in that bin and put them in this green bin. And then um, all the toys are gonna go in your room. And then we're gonna get all the uh, homeschool materials in the closet neatly and out of the way. Dad's gonna be working on getting this flooring out of the room. And then we have a couple boxes that we need to get out of the room as well but me and your dad will handle everything else what i want y'all to work on is getting the toys in your room and the homeschool school room and now we are going to start putting together these beautiful desks for the boys we have three desks for them 
and I'm super excited about making this room a place where they can learn. We already have a few little beautiful little things that y'all have sent us there, but I'm excited about getting that on the wall and really making this a home school room. <laughs> Approximately put together time 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I was thinking more like five minutes. Should we put on a time? Oh, Three, definitely more than five minutes. Six, nine. That's, That's an, an hour, hour and 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Wow. I'm out of here. <laughs> but look, look at this though. Does this uh, remind you anything? It looks exactly like our flooring. Exactly like it. It's kind well, of you can't get a better match than that. Well, that was subscriber sent this was like anointed. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Because I don't even think they had seen our flooring at that point when they sent this. Yeah, she she's amazing. She was a homeschool mom for many years. I homeschooled her boys all through up throughout high school and. I know she's happy that we're back to homeschool. She is. I know, I know she was heartbroken when she figured out we'll send the kids to public school. She is. But we we have private school. But then another what what is it like a. Uh, you know, when you're like building suspense. You know, oh, like, yeah. Another yeah, turn in the store. Another turn. You know, yeah. That you didn't expect. Right. Uh, <laughs> plot twist. Plot twist. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm scribe. I'm going to think that we're playing this stuff. We're not, y'all. Nope. But this, this, this is just our lives. <laughs> and it has been a long time coming for us to get to this point where now the boys have a full time teacher and they'll be full time homeschool because, you know, the Lord spoke to us three, four years ago. Um, we were out in the cabin in the woods and taking a Sabbath as a family. And he told us to, um, Tim Dream was the only person at that time in school, but he told us to pull the boys out of school and, um, or, you know, that Tim Dream shouldn't be going to that school and that we were going to homeschool. And we did. And literally that next week or that, like, it might have even been while we were still on vacation. Mm -hmm. I got an email saying that the it's coronavirus yeah. had hit and all the schools shut down. And we're like, okay, Lord, <laughs> thank you for putting us ahead of schedule. Because we were prepared and the things that were shifting and happening in the world didn't affect us because of the word that the Lord was or had already given us. And, um, you know, we made the decision to put the boys in private school really because they needed a full-time teacher. And I wasn't ready or prepared. I was juggling all these different things. And um, we knew that their education was extremely important. So even though the boys had a short stint in private school, they were able to be lights for Jesus Christ. And I'm just so amazed at their, their testimonies. Each child has a testimony, and each of them were able to take a stand for Jesus. And so, ready or not, here I come. I'm their full-time homeschool teacher, so we're going to make this room into a space where they can learn and grow, and where we can instill in them the things that the Lord teaches us, and also where they have the freedom <laughs> to worship and to do what the Lord has called them to do without having to conform to the world and to its systems, but that they can transform and that their minds can be renewed and everything that the Lord puts on their hearts to do, they have the space and the freedom to do it here at IAG Homeschool. So that's what I'm very, very excited about and looking forward to see the boys just shine and uh, go to new heights in terms of their abilities to stand for the Lord and to share their faith and to share their testimonies. So, I'll turn you around and we'll continue to put these desks together and make this into a place where the Lord can be worshipped um, without any restrictions. Alright boys, so everything seems pretty simple, but it's going to take a while for this person to get it. Even though they said 30 minutes, it's probably going to take about an hour.
it goes the black side. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, looks good. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. What is that pack of nails? Yeah, it's Yeah, we can nail it. What's your nail? Gotta complete this. It looks fabulous. Mm -hmm. Looks so, so good. So where is this gonna go, Mama? On this wall? Yeah, I think we're going to put them on this wall here. We kind of got to see how yeah. big they are, if we can get them all three or... Because I know you're going to have chalkboard paint in the middle. Right, so... I guess you can have maybe one in that corner, one in that corner, or the third one go. Over there. We'll have to see once we get them made up. Unless you want to put all three on that wall. How would that work? I'm just asking so I can put them Yeah, in the um, put them on all three on this wall for now. And then we'll move them around and adjust them if we need to. That'll be the idea. Wow. How's it look? Oh, it looks great. I love it. It does look cool. That's right. Yeah, it does look good. It looks no, really good. No one mm -hmm. might have to stand up. And get close up to it. No, it's going to Woo. be careful about this beat. Boys, what do y'all think Good. about this amazing desk? Mm -hmm. All right, boys, y'all ready to put up two more? Yes. yes. All right, let's do it. Looks good. All right, y'all, we got the second one put up. That's the first one that we did. And uh, we think we're going to put the third one right here in this spot. We were thinking about putting the... Um, chalkboard paint right there but uh since we we think that this is the best spot for all three discs on this wall to keep them out of the way we changed our mind and we think we're gonna do the chalkboard paint right in this section right here and then kind of frame it out i had just like a little little spot right there so yeah the desk are looking good so far we gotta go find some some chairs that match but they're looking good we can go ahead and get this last one put up and then we can move on i don't know if we're gonna get a chance to do the chalkboard paint today or not but if not we'll just pick y'all up tomorrow we're going to go ahead and get this last uh, desk put up, and then we'll just pick y'all up after that. Alright y'all, so we got everything back in and cleaned up, and we're about to get this last desk put in this place. Man, just putting up a couple of little, little straight it's things. Nice to get you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Last desk going in place, boys. Well, who's going to be in the middle? Me. Tim Jr. Sam J is gonna be in the middle. I gotta get my tape measures to make sure they're equal. <laughs> what made me be in the middle? Cause I trust you not to do anything crazy being next to Titus and not to do anything crazy being next to Noah. How about that? I wanna be next to Tino. You are gonna be next to me. Cause he's in the middle, so you're gonna be next to him no matter what. <laughs> yeah. I can't find my tape measure. Uh, it looks about equal. Yeah. I, 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 I'm here to eat. What y'all think, boys? 
Good. I think it looks buddy? great. I'm trying to get the whole. Good. Good. Oh. oh yeah. All righty. Are you so, we, so, so we have all the desks in the homeschool room put together. We have the floor clear. And now we can start getting things organized. It looks like we can have like a little spot, you know, like some little oh, stuff in the middle. Oh, yeah. You know, like a, a little books, cubby on each cubby, side. You know. uh, a long bookcase. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Skinny one. But uh, our goal is, like I said, we were going to do this wall in chalkboard paint. But now we've decided that we're just going to do it in the regular gray. Just like the rest of the walls. And uh, we had to the trim, and then we're gonna do chalkboard paint on this side. This is a little small section of chalkboard paint. And uh, we have a bunch of things like this that you all have sent us. I love this one. The future of this world is in this classroom. Yeah, so I think we've done enough for today. And uh, we're just gonna pick y'all up tomorrow when we get ready to paint this wall. Hopefully, we'll get ready to paint this wall tomorrow. Maybe do some chalkboard paint. And then uh, start getting this homeschool room ready for some, for some schooling. <laughs> I right, wish to see y'all in the morning.
Good old honey mm -hmm. and uh, tea. Really, you don't even need tea. You could do hot water and lemon and honey, but I don't have any fresh lemon right now, so we're just gonna do tea and honey. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tea and honey and hot water. Put a couple ice cubes in yours. I know better. How is it, Tim? Good. Does it make your throat feel better? Mm-hmm. Good. All right, y'all, we're just getting done farm chores. And now uh, we're getting back in here. We got, got breakfast in us, got farm chores done, got our animals taken care of. So now we're getting back to the homeschool room. And now uh, we're going to try to get this thing finished off today. We might have to run an errand, get some chairs from uh, Walmart or Home Depot. And we also have to run an errand to get, get a little bit more trim. I want to go ahead and get it trimmed around these doors and everything. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, this wall here is uh, going to be painted with the same paint that's on these walls here, just a light gray. And we're going to paint all of that. Megan's going to work on cutting it, work on cutting everything in. And I'm going to use a roller just to paint the whole, the bulk of the wall. And then we're going to do chalkboard paint over here, which is going to do like a small square. You know, and uh, we're going to end up trimming it out with some type of trim to make it look good. And uh, Megan's working on getting some Garbage bags on the floor right now, but we're gonna have to move these desks out of the way and then put the garbage bags closer over there. Because like I said, I'm just gonna be very careful with the paint and try not to get it on the floor. And I think we'll be fine. I paint, I don't, I don't paint too messy nowadays. But it, <laughs> what's fun? <laughs> what's fun? You don't paint too messy. You think I paint messy? <laughs> you drop. You, you drop the paint everywhere we when we have the uh, other floor down. That's what the why you do the one to put that floor down at first. I don't even know you. Who are you? And why are you in my house? In my home school room. Right. I know. Yeah, all right, y'all get on, get on, get on, get on. Alright, so we're gonna paint this wall, paint that wall, do a little bit of trim work, and then we're gonna try to get this room finished. I think Megan has a bunch of uh like things that you all have sent, right? That you can hang on the walls and so even one subscriber was sending me something about how it's like a dry erase adhesive or something. Mm. Almost like a wallpaper that you could put something in chalkboard paint here. Probably some type of dry erase board or maybe go back to that um, adhesive that she was sending me, showing me. And then we have um, lots of posters mm -hmm. uh, that were sent. So we'll put those posters up. And then the other thing, I'm probably going to put like some of the bulletin board you know the what do you call it like a tack board yeah where mm -hmm. you put the thumbtacks in That's right. and that way i could put up posters i can also put up the boys work and different things like that so i'm i'm super excited about all the different things that we can use to decorate the homeschool room and also inspire the boys to learn sounds good so we're gonna try to get this room finished today like i said i want to be able to Walk y'all through this homeschool room at the end of the day and show y'all the amazing homeschool room and all the things you all have sent and blessed us with. And uh, 
Hopefully we can get it all done today so that we can get started with this new season of homeschooling yeah, tomorrow, we're right? Yeah, actually homeschooling. Even, yes. even though we're homeschooling now, because, you know, we, we like to do a relaxed <laughs> version of homeschool. Right. We were a little bit too relaxed <laughs> before. <laughs> we need so to be we, more structured. We're, we're, we're going to be a little bit more structured, but still relaxed to where we have on-the-go learning, uh, right. uh, trade. Do, um, right, right. They're, the boys still learn around the farm and things, but... They need to get their book work in as well. Even though you've been doing a good job because you taught them how to read and write and count and do all those things. So those are the basics, you know, uh, the most important foundational things. Mm -hmm. But we're going to just we're just yeah. gonna get a little bit more structured. Yeah, a little bit more scheduled, rigorous, you know, have, okay, homeschool starts at 8 o'clock, 8.30, and then have math, have reading, right. have, you know, mm -hmm. A time frame for each subject. All the way up until 11. Yeah, probably yeah. from 8 to 12 or 8 to 11. 8 yeah, 30 to 11 30. And then break for lunch. And then, and then, they, can have a, then they can have a recess and have, you know, the more hands on learning. But we want to do more structured learning. That's why we're setting up the room, setting up the desk, so that they're actually, you know, more rigorously um, being tested and learning and sitting down and learning. That's right. All right, y'all. So we're just gonna get y'all set up, and then we're gonna get to work. We're gonna start getting this this room painted, trying to get it finished. So y'all just enjoy the rest of the journey for today, and hopefully we can get it done and show y'all the finished product, so we can get back to the classroom homeschool learning tomorrow. Alright y'all, we got done painting in here and uh we, we had to put on our camera face. Megan was acting crazy. I was. <laughs> and I said I should have been recorded. Because I said that everybody thinks that you're so soft spoken and so calm, cool, and collected. I said they just don't know you're crazy. That joke ain't soft spoken. <laughs> she just get on camera and start using her telephone voice. That's all that is. Yes, you know the telephone voice. It's like that joke will be yes. rolling her neck and doing all the other stuff that everybody else be doing too. So yes. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Let me turn around and let y'all see what, uh, as y'all see, I, I did a change of clothes because I, I was spraying, Megan was spraying out the paintbrushes and got me all wet. Exactly. <laughs> we, we finna get ready to uh, go and do a material run as well and get some trim. What else are we getting? 
Oh, yeah, the chairs. Right. For chairs the homeschool. Yeah. Hopefully, we can find some chairs. Yeah, wow. Well, we have to get three of them. Anytime you have to get three, three of them. something. Yeah, so maybe I'll find one or two, but three. That's, that's, as but, soon uh, as there'll be four of everything. Exactly, so. for real. Yeah, but uh, we're going to run an errand after this and we're going to get lunch while we're out. But let me turn you around and let y'all see what we did. All right, so as you see, our goal was to get this wall painted. And uh, we got this whole wall painted and cut in. And it's looking good. And once that dries, let me step back. Small room. Once that dries on this wall over here, we'll move these desks back over there into their places. And then we'll start uh, painting this spot here that we're going to do in chalkboard paint. So that's the plan. And uh, like I said, you can see around the doors on the inside of the uh, homeschool room need to be trimmed out. And then a bunch of caulking needs to be done. I, I, I'm hoping I have enough energy to do all this caulking and putting up trim uh, today. And like I said, when, I, when I'm putting up trim, Megan will probably be painting the chalkboard paint, right? Oh, yes. Then you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that. Good, yeah. good. And then we'll be done with all those type of things. Like I said, I just need to caulk. It shouldn't take me too long to caulk all this. I might not get a chance to paint it. Uh, <laughs> you know, it might not get painted for right now. But at least it'll be caulked, you know, where no spiders and things can hide in there. And it'll look all good, nice and finished. And uh, we can come back later and maybe paint it, touch it I up. I think that I'll look in the laundry room to be sure, but I think that we're all out of the trim paint. Anyway, and we yeah. used it for this wainscoting. So we might, while we're at Home Depot, need to just pick up another bucket of, bucket trim, of paint. trim paint. So that way we'll have it. We can do that little spot and hit up the um, trim. Because yeah, we need to do the crown molding right. too as well. Because right. I got I to caulk all of that. It's exactly. going to be a whole week of caulking. Because yeah, so. <laughs> they started caulking the crown molding, but they didn't get done. Yeah, so. they do all of it. So that's it. So we can, while we're painting this, we can also hit up this spot as well. So we'll be prepared with trim paint. So, yeah. That's right. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to run our errand, and uh, we'll just pick y'all up when we get back, and hopefully we can get done with this today, and then have our first official day of this homeschool season <laughs> tomorrow. All right, y'all, we'll pick y'all up when we get back. No, Dad it. I caught it. Where we at, boys? Uh, Foxy and Pizza. What we eat? Pizza. Get some good old pizza. What's your name, Noah? Ready to eat some pizza, no? Yep. <laughs> My thing. I said you got something. I got you. You got that uh, pink lemonade sprite. It's just. Oh, okay. I guess. You. you go, Tyus. What you got, Tyus? Just pink lemonade or pink lemonade sprite? Just pink lemonade. Yeah. So Y'all ready to eat this pizza? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Both got appetizers. Yes. Load of French fries and onion rings. Those are French fries? Yay! Where, where's the salad? It's coming with the pizza. I might need no salad. Man, I ain't got <laughs> no business eating no salad Why? at a pizza place. Why you put it just on top of All right, y'all, I got my pizza. Got a scramble on it. One of these pizzas with the pizza in the inside. What y'all think, boys? Mm -hmm. That's good. Yep, yeah, oh, man. I'm eating the whole thing myself. No. Yeah, you that today, you Yeah, 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 that's what I want to see. See if that cheese gonna, uh, that's how you know if you eat some good pizza or not. If that cheese don't stick to your mouth like that, it ain't pizza. All right, y'all, enjoy y'all's food. All right, are y'all ready for this amazing, long awaited homeschool room reveal? I know I've been waiting for the homeschool room to be just finished, complete, ready to use for a long time, and it is finally done. And I can't wait to show y'all around. I've been using it for a couple of days, and it's amazing. Y'all come on in.
fun to welcome the boys in when they come in the door. And here is really just is a focal point of the room. I feel like we have two focal walls. One is our chalkboard wall, and then I'll show you a little bit later our pro poster wall. But this is definitely a focal point of the homeschool room. You know, we made a big deal about the chalkboard paint. Um, I didn't know that there was actually dry erase board paint and dry erase board wallpaper. But y'all all educated me on that. So maybe in this area we'll do something like that and also a cork board. But for now, I am loving this chalkboard. We try to write the day every day. And... Um, a scripture and these are actually words that the boys are working on spelling based on the readings that they are doing so that's our beautiful chalkboard wall as you can see we created this shelf so we could put you know this is another suggestion to use a towel instead of an eraser because it absorbs more of the dust but we created this little ledge here to place chalk and an eraser for the chalkboard. And so Tim actually built this out of some old trim pieces. I think what Greg left some of these pieces or something like that. But he created this little ledge out of some leftover uh, trim that we had. And he even trimmed out the trim. So it's a beautiful, smooth edge around every section and then i whitewashed it just like we were um you know in that wood stove hearth mode <laughs> so i whitewashed it just like i did the wood stove mantle and it turned out so great i was afraid that um we should have gone with white because everything else is white but it just blends in so well and it almost has like a chalky feel to it you know so that you know the little chalkboard dust on top of it just goes right in i think it looks great though so i was really um pleased with how this came out we were thinking about framing the um, actual chalkboard but when tim did it it came out so neat and nice we didn't really even see the need for trimming that out we just focused our energy on creating the ledge instead. So that turned out great. I was super excited about that. And then we have another few little pieces on this wall. Um, the future of the world is in this classroom. I love that. We're trying to train them up in the way they should go, like the Bible says. And then these are a few classroom rules, and these are... The Ten Commandments kind of written for kids in plain language. And then the other focal point that I'm so excited about is our poster wall. And now, let's see, I keep my little tape. Keeps popping off. I need some other solutions for you. But I didn't want to uh, harm the paint on the wall. So this is probably like the lowest level of scotch tape. But anyway. The poster wall is the other uh, focal point on the wall that I'm really, really loving. And the kids, you know how you can just kind of stare in the space or you just want to look at something for a second? Well, there's something for them to learn everywhere they look. And each kid actually has a section. So this is Noah's desk. And they actually did this as a craft one day. One of the subscribers sent this to them as a craft and so they did this as a homeschool craft one day but then when they were uh, we had the desk we were able to hang them up kind of as a little signature for each desk so <clears throat> this is Noah's section and we have his numbers the alphabet shapes seasons and colors and so he's able to learn just by sitting there and looking around he actually uses this board when he counts and he's up to 16 right now and he can point so he can go one two and associate his counting with the actual number so this is the perfect height for him to stand here and actually point to each number so he's been actively using that to learn and then the same with Tim I really 
I talked about nouns and verbs uh, a little bit today in homeschool. And they were like, what? That's in Noah's section because I explained something to Titus. And it was in another section. He was like, what? I was like, you can learn from every section on the board here. And we actually did skip counting too as well. And that was in uh, Noah's section. So they were kind of blown away. Like, what? We can look at other sections of the wall. I was like, yes, you can learn from other sections. Not just your section. But this is Tim Jr.'s section. He also has a little flag that he did. He's been doing really great in homeschool, so I gave him this little way to go sign because he's really been leading out every day. And um, so th these are all things that he's working on and can learn as well. And the same with Titus. And there's some repetition there, like, you know, he, Titus also has a season, um, a poster about the seasons, but his is a little bit more in depth than Noah's. And then he has subtraction. In addition, and we even talked about percentages today. So it's so amazing how a lot of the things that I'll talk about at homeschool, I was like, oh yeah, that's on the poster wall as well. So um, that just turned out really great. And y'all actually sent, one of the subscribers actually sent these posters. I think multiple subscribers sent different posters. And this is just kind of a mix of, the different ones so um, and the great thing is I have more so I can always when they master the concept take it down and put other things back up that they're going to be working on learning the other thing that I've been really pleased with has been these discs they love them and they have the little cubby so they can put their books and kind of like slide them back we've been using these for math and it's just basically um, a sheet protector. They have a dry erase marker and they're able to do their math facts over and over and just erase them. So they keep one of these here at each boy's desk. And um, so Tim put these discs together and they came out great. And I just want to show you something really quickly. If you can see that wood grain and how that looks. And then check out the floor and how close that match is like that is i don't even know like super duper close and so um, a subscriber actually sent these as well we didn't go match these up so it was amazing how well she was able to match up the floor with the desk and they just came out perfectly and the boys love them and then we bought these chairs just a basic task computer desk chair from Walmart. And it was, uh, you know, simple to put together and easy. And uh, they work really well because when the boys are doing their individual work, they're able to sit at the desk. But if they want to look at the chalkboard um, or in our uh, group sessions, they just flip it around and just kind of brace it just against the back. And they're able to look at me and look at the board. And that's what I love about these discs. Because really the only way to keep the room open was to have the desk against the wall. So the boys are able to look at the poster wall, um, do their individual work. And then they can also flip around and see the chalkboard and do group work and talk to me and we have prayer and Bible study in the morning so we can kind of do that as a group and then we still have space on this beautiful soft carpet if we want to just sit down and sit in a circle and talk about something I think today we sat in a circle and we counted out blocks and we talked about even numbers and how if you divide something by two um, we can figure out if it's an even number or an odd number so we actually did that on the floor today. So I'm loving this room. As you can see, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> but I am loving this room so far. It has been so fruitful. The boys have really enjoyed homeschool. And I've enjoyed just how easy it's been in this room to focus and for them to learn. So, yeah. I think Tim said, if you can't learn in this room, I don't know what to, <laughs> what to say. 
but yeah they've been loving this room and just i love having it actually in the house because it's just easy for them after breakfast i'm like head to the homeschool room you know if they want to take a quick break you know i say okay go take a break go to the bathroom fill up your water and they do that and it's just um i can still be in the house and they can be in the house and it's just easy for us to have a room here like it is homeschool so we love it and when little benjamin comes he can have a little pack and play in the room and be here as well and then you know a bassinet or a little um crib in our room where he can sleep so i love it it's great it's perfect i feel completely blessed to have this room as the boys teacher all right so you ready for the boys to come in and I speak am. their part boys now yeah, I come on in. On Speak y'all's part. Speak now. Forever hold your peace. Go on in there. Yeah. All right, Titus, you first. What's your what, what? What do you have to say about the new homeschool room? What I have to say is I'm glad that Mama's a full part of this homeschool room from the chalkboard, like to the posters and the chairs and desks. Good job, good job. What about you, Tim? What you got to uh, say, bud? One time, uh, when we were doing high school, Mama said, it's, uh, high school's dismissed, and I said, what? We just did it so quick. I wanted to do some more. You felt fast, huh? Mm -hmm. It was probably a couple of hours, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was a couple of hours. And I've learned to do breaks. Yeah. <laughs> so we take a long break between subjects and sometimes within the subject we'll take a short break. So yeah. We, we take in. breaks <laughs> and then yeah, it's it's a long time because I homeschool at least from like eight, eight thirty to, you know, twelve, twelve thirty, somewhere in there. So it's longer than they think. Yeah. What about you know? What you gotta say? Not going to private school to be full time on the farm. That's right. Yeah. Full time on the farm. Everybody's here. The whole family. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. Look at the scripture in the day on the wall. All right, y'all. So this is it. This is our homeschool room. And uh, we're all loving it. Mm -hmm. And I love it because it's finished. It's nice. <laughs> and my family can just come in here and learn. No distractions. Just block in, get their schooling in, like Megan said, because it's more than just about uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Because I don't know if you all know or not, but it's uh, from things that I read, the school system, it's, a, it's, a, it's an initial purpose was to teach kids how to read and how to write so that they could be better, uh, be useful to the Lord, you know, be able to read their Bibles and things like that. And uh, we've gotten so far <laughs> away from that. Uh, you know, schooling now is about so much more other than just other than the Lord, it's like we push him out of it. And so it's a beautiful thing to hear Megan say that the first thing they do every morning is have Bible study. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's what uh, learning, that's the foundation of all foundation of all learning. Yep. All wisdom. That's you right. Know? Fear of God is the beginning, beginning of, of all understanding. That's right. All wisdom. So you can't, you can't have understanding, you can't have wisdom, you can't have knowledge without the fear of the Lord because that's the beginning of it. So we're going to end today's video here, y'all. Our homeschool room is complete. And next is the laundry room. <laughs> so, uh, I'm excited about getting started on the laundry room, getting I'm it done. I'm excited about both those rooms. That's right. We're going to get a new stackable. Well, not a new stackable. We're going to get a stackable washer and dryer. It's going to be new. You know, I know you all have seen us hanging clothes on the clothes uh, line out there. No more. Clothes line slash fencing, <laughs> pasture fencing. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited to get that started. I got some big plans for that, doing some shelving and different things like that. But we're going to end today's video here, and uh, we're just glad to bring you all this video and show you all the homeschool room and just, you know, let you all follow along the process with us because y'all remember when this room was just, you know. <laughs> the junk room. The, the junk room, room. Right, just the a normal room. There, yeah. Right. But now it has beautiful carpet, beautiful paint, chalkboard, all type of colorful pieces of paper on the wall with nice desks and chairs. And it's an it's a atmosphere of learning now, an atmosphere of discipleship. But we're going to end it here. Is IG Farms. Oh my God! We'll see y'all in the next one.
Jesus come Inhabit the praise of the sinner and saint Jesus come And Jesus move